Hey y'all, it's Anime Game and today I'm going to be reading the 6th episode of Dororo and wow, gotta give props to Studio Mappa, this is by far the best episode of the series and they somehow managed to top the greatness of the first episode <laughs> by a mile. Let me just get that out of the way because for one, what I really liked about this episode was it kind of felt realistic some of the actions that Hakimaru took because for one, after he lost his foot, he pretty much was in a situation where he was slowly carving out a wooden leg with like a weapon attachment so that he can try to get his foot back from the demon that took it from him on last week's episode. And I kind of like how that situation, Hakimaru's impatience, pretty much led to him losing. Because yes, he may have gained his foot back, but he lost much more in trying and pretty much gaining it back. Because due to Hakimaru leaving, Mio and the kids were left completely defenseless. And looking back, Episode 5 did a great job of building up this situation. I didn't even see it before. Because last week you had this boy pretty much tell Mio that she shouldn't play, she shouldn't um, work at both camps because it could get really, really dicey. And then I only realized what this episode was building towards when you had one of the guys say, whatever you do, watch out for spies. And the moment it transitions to Mio, I was like, oh, Lord, it felt like it was going to pretty much set her up in a situation where the people from the other camp were going to think that Mio is some kind of spy. And from their perspective, from the people of the other camp, it would make sense why Mio is a spy. If she's sleeping around in one camp from the other, they're honestly put two, two together. It's more than likely that, yeah, that individual is 90% a spy. So when they came up, killed Mio and all the boys, it was a sad situation, but this episode put it in the lights of it being in the gray morality because it's like, from the perspective of the samurai, for all they know, these kids and this chick could have been spreading military secrets for all we know. And even though it felt sad that they, that they all died, from the perspective of the Samurais, they were probably thinking it was the right thing. And that's what I really like about Dororo. It has sort of that gray morality. Even though from our perspective, we know that Mio isn't any kind of spy and she did nothing wrong. But that's because we're the audience members. And we get to see pretty much everything that's... Um, we get to see a good amount of things while for the other characters, they don't have that kind of luxury. So that's what really made this episode sad. It's like, fuck. And then when Mio sung a song, a bit of her song, and then she completely died. And then when you hear the first thing Hakimaru say isn't a word, but he uses his voice to let out a scream of pain and agony to pretty much just fucking fuck up all the samurai that killed Mio. While well, it was a cool and epic scene and I was running for Hakimaru, it just felt sad because of the end result. And then when it transitions over to like, their graves, shit, that really got to me, and it really made for an emotionally impactful episode, and then just seeing Hakimaru's sad face really made this episode even sadder, so I'd say from an emotional standpoint, this episode was glorious, and at the same time, I like how it showed consequences towards Hakimaru's actions too, because... If he would have not gone to get his leg back, who, who knows, maybe the kids and Mio would all be alive and it would be a less, it would have been a less tragic situation, but because Hakimaru decided to get his foot back, pretty much suffered the consequences of losing all those, all those kids and Mio, so I kind of like that. It goes to show that sometimes people don't learn from their mistakes and if they commit the same mistake twice, sometimes making that same mistake twice can have more impact, negative impact than when you made the mistake the first time. And I like how this episode brought that lesson in an impactful and emotional way. So that's what also made this episode beautiful at the same time, even though it was really depressing as hell. And I'd say overall, 
taking all these factors in consideration because it even gave us some characterization from Doro where he even mentioned that his uh, mother was doing a lot of jobs aside from prostitution to try to provide for Doro and herself but because she didn't prostitute near her death, she pretty much ended up in the situation where she couldn't get enough money for to for Doro and then she died. And that was kind of sad, but then when Doro said to Mio that what you're doing is also it's also a great thing, that was also nice. It's just a shame that she couldn't achieve her dream her dream of having a a good rice patty. And that's also what made Mio's death sadder because they even gave us a goal and all that so that this death, it felt impactful because we had a face to attach to a character and they had dreams and goals. And that's what made it even sadder. And that's what I'm going to rate this episode a 10 out of 10. We got to see a lot of characterization for Dororo. We got to see characterization for Haki Mara because we got to see him getting pissed. And then it leads into a possible future conflict in the future episode because Dororo was begging Haki Maru not to kill this last samurai. But... And that's going to be interesting to see how it's going to fuck things up for them. Because for one, it makes sense why Dororo would do that. He doesn't want to see Hakimaru dirty himself, figuratively killing people. And since Dororo is a kid, he's not going to exactly put two and two together that this could lead to some more tragic shit happening. Considering that Dororo, even though he has a good maturity for his age, he still has that naivety going, going towards him. So that's going to be interesting. And this should also set up Hakimaru for some character development to not be so hasty anymore. And that's what I also liked about this episode. It sets him up for character growth. And that's why I feel this episode is a 10 out of 10 episode. And then the art animation really, and all the voice performances were great. And that's why I thought this episode was exceptional. So anyways guys and girls, these are my thoughts on the episode. Comment on your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section. Rate the video, subscribe if you want to see more reviews and reactions, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more, because I'm definitely pumped up for more Doro episodes. Alright guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. Bye.